Yep. All right, we got this uh, old five envoy. Uh, we like trailblazer. We're gonna go ahead and uh, we got the transmission done. We're gonna stick it back in. Uh, I'm blowing the fluid lines out. I flush them out with uh, filter flush. Run through one line and out the other one. Uh, we went over it in the last video, but I was talking in this one. Uh, all the flex plates on the Chevrolets, most all of them have this oblong shaped hole. And the other two are uh, circles. And that one's not a complete circle. That's the one you want to bolt to at first. So we got this, uh, this access hole back here to put the bolt in, the uh, torpor bolt. So we got to make sure we get that one first and we can tighten it up and then the other ones can fall right in place. So we got our lines, it's a dipstick tube. We always go watch some of these uh, Trailblazer and Envoys about this uh, uh, bracket up here. So we got everything ready, make sure our dial pins are in place. Here's our starter, so we have to get up over the starter in between these. That's the only kind of tight spot on these. Uh, make sure, always make sure you got your converter all the way back. Uh, some say click three times, but I've never really thought it that way. Make sure it's all the way back. When you get it bolted up, if your converter won't turn without it bolted up inside there, then you got uh, you got it too tight and bust your pump. If you ever get one in and start it up, it won't do anything. After you put fluid in there, you've probably busted your pump. We're going to get started and get this done pretty quick. As you're going up this one, you probably want to uh, watch your dipstick tube and get it started in place before you get all the way up with it. If not, you'll have trouble getting your dipstick in. Make sure your wires kind of fall into place where they, about where they're going to go. Bit tube stuffed in. back in. Two if you want in. All right. Now, your kids get your uh, dial pins in there. You can probably see that one. Make sure you kind of get them in there about right. Take a bolt if I get it pretty close. And just start a bolt in there. And a dial pin hole, you want to put a bolt in a dial pin hole. And 
you'll have signed it sometime. in there and it's not you can see it moving Let's go ahead and uh tighten some of the bolts up Last two. On that bracket, we hit them. But it's not as easy on these because it's hard to get that bracket down where it goes. What I do, I'll take a straight socket, put my bolt in there, and go up in there and kind of wiggle it around until I get it down in the hole. Yeah, I might not be able to see it very good. But Go, but see if I kind of put it in there in the hole.
Alright, I'll go this side. Let's tighten that up. There are transmission bolts up. Alright. Next I'm gonna go over here and go get these lines in. Because they're in a tighter spot on these. One of them's right there. You got a you got the clips in there now. Alright, that clip right in there. Get a good kind of tug, make sure it ain't gonna slide back out. And the other one, about the same. There we go. Make sure it's not coming out. You don't want them blowing off. Get our transmission plug in here. The wiring harness. All right, we'll put this eight millimeter bolt back in. They're holding that wiring harness in place. into our Pringle switch. See how this is pulled out on these newer model ones. Get it started, start pushing that back in. It'll slide in as you're pushing it in. Put your clip back in there. All right, go on there, bolt. A little screw here. Get it back in here. Started. And it's not the easiest to get to, but Here's all my wires for my transfer case. My vent tube for my transfer case. I'll go ahead and uh, put my transfer case in. Put a new gasket on my transfer case. Should be good. There we go. Nuts here. Get them all started and I can tighten them up with their ratchet. There's five of them on these. One at the top of the bracket is. Get that bracket in place. Get that nut on there. These with a 15 millimeter universal socket. big one here. Make sure it clips in place. You got these uh, wire brackets here. And we got our vacuum or uh, vent. Make sure it 
gets back up on there. And we bent this out of the way, get that paint off. Get it bent back in place. Got our shifter table with these two clips. And at one spot here, it has to go that way. Make sure it clips in there. We're not gonna hook this up just yet. Get my jack stand to get that jack, big guy, jack out of the way. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put my rear drive shaft in. Make sure you get in there without it in the right spot. Kind of pack it in, make sure. All right. Straps on. 7 back on. Two 13 millimeter bolts here holding the shield on. Heat shield, keep it from uh, getting you plug in too hot up here. Push it up in here and get started up here. There we go. And make sure it's in there. There's two 17 millimeter bolts on your strap for your drive shed. 7 16 cents. Extension, you gotta get your torque converter about in place and push them bolts in there. And make sure it's started, you can run them in a good ways. Once you get it started, you take a screwdriver or pry bar in this hole and make sure you push that converter up against the flex plate. That way, you're not walking the tighten one up without it bending up against the flex plate. You're gonna uh, walk that. Uh, pushing out of the pump and you're going to have a bad leak. Just run up through here. Take my ratchet, tighten this one down. Alright, here we go. Go on the next one. Last one. 
first line we would give a go, birds. Alright. All you covers and shields back in place. Cover up an access hole. This near might be a trick sometimes. Make sure you don't go too far, be hitting on the flex plate.
this side so I can get in here on the kind of hard to get down on the nut. There we go. nuts in there, mount it to the cross number. There we go. Now with these uh, three 13 millimeter bolts back in this year. That's it. We've got our transmission in. Uh, we put about a about a quart of fluid in the tra in the torque converter. Uh, you're probably going to let it down. Put about uh, about 12 or 13 quarts in there. I put four in there, start it up, and then put the rest in there. Should be good to go. Uh, you get in, make sure you let it run for a little while. Check for leaks. Check your fluid. Make sure your fluid's good. It checks in part. Uh, you want to check the transfer case. Make sure you lose no fluid in it. Make sure it's full of fluid. And that should be it. If you have any questions, uh, comment or email me. Uh, like and subscribe. We'll do some more. Thank you.